Hello guys, on today's video we're going to make shawarma. So the first thing we're going to do is to start cutting our cabbage. So while I'm cutting my vegetables, I'm going to boil my chicken with the normal seasoning, salt, curry and ginger and garlic powder. After cutting your cabbage, you're going to grate your carrots. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to fry my sausages. I'm going to fry it until it looks golden brown. So now I'm going to shred my chicken. I'm going to shred it into a size that someone can bite and swallow easily. So in a bowl, you're going to add in your mayonnaise. Your mayonnaise depends on the amount of shawarma you're making. So for my own, I'm going to add 4 tablespoons of mayonnaise and I'm going to add in some ketchup. I'm going to squeeze in some lemon juice into the mixture and I'm going to mix. So this is my veggies and I'm going to cut in some green pepper inside. You can remove it, it is optional. So next I'm going to put my shawarma bread on a flat surface and I'm going to start adding my ingredients for the shawarma. First you're going to put your mayonnaise mixture, add your veggies, add another mayonnaise mixture again. We're going to add mayonnaise, mayonnaise, mayonnaise mixture because we want it to be creamy. Add your mayonnaise mixture and then you add in your chicken, your shredded chicken. Then you add in some more mayonnaise mixture and you put in your sausage and roll. That's it. Very simple. So the next thing is we're going to put our shawarma in a frying pan we're going to allow it to heat up and allow the heat to seal the ends of the shawarma you know because it is still open so when you apply some heat it will bind the ends for you so this is what it looks like so 
so that's it we are done with the shawarma it is very very simple and easy to make just make sure you have the ingredients that's all so next we're going to open the shawarma and see what it looks like inside so. So this is what it looks like you see very creamy it looks creamy even from here it was very juicy so make sure you try this recipe let me know what you think make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos bye